Hi guys, I'm going to try and show you how to transform Xtranspot's Cup version 2 into Alt mode. To begin, rotate the arms 180 degrees at the bicep swivel and lift them, raise them up at the shoulder joints so that they are well beyond 90 degrees. Lift up the head panel. Let's open up the hip skirts as well so that they don't get forgotten. It's important that you rotate the wheel arches down first because they sit in a little notch here and they'll prevent these pieces from opening. Then you need something very thin. I know some of you people hate seeing a metal tool used in plastic so I ate a ice cream just so that I could use this but what do you know it's too thin to get in there so look away if you don't like this part but you need to prise open the side of his waist sections then you should be able to open up his backpack and get the get this piece off you need to bend it on this hinge which is going to disconnect a couple of tabs in there so use some force and then backpack opens up oh I have not broken something I had one of his other faces stored in there and I forgot open up the backpack and let's just fold that out of the way for now we're going to get the wheels out rotate focus rotate the shoulders up and then bring these waist pieces back in rotate these pieces from his shoulders out the way these wheel arches are going to keep closing keep those out of the way what we've got to do is open up the chest piece so that this piece is no longer wrapped up in here that's nice and easy okay Let's make some more space here. So flip up these tiny little panels here. That will enable you to rotate these, to tuck them out of the way, and then close those two little panels back. We need to get these out the way so that there's plenty of clearance for the wheel. Wow, that looks really good so let's have a side view so you can see how I've got things lined up we've got we've got the ab section here the painted painted abs are in there and then there's a black screw there and we've got an arm coming out of there that is at 90 degrees to the ab section and then these are tucked against the waist pieces now slide up the the shoulder on that pin and rotate it inwards and now the wheel and wheel arch section should come out with no bother at all I make sure that this panel here the one with the little dimple that's on a double hinge just tuck it on top of the wheel arch like this so now we get that arm back out this arm needs to go in, use that slider. Now on my copy, the slider really didn't work because there wasn't enough clearance here. So I had to trim this piece a little bit so that it would actually work. Not great. When you've got the arm out of the way like that, you should be able to just flip that out. And then on this double hinge, this double hinge has loosened up significantly because it's on a screw and it's starting to come undone so you might find that these two joints are really stiff and then make sure the arms are back on the outside to get the head inside the car mode what we've got to do lots of things we need to try and get this panel and this panel this light blue panel in a straight line with this. See right now it's about 45 degrees from being in a straight line. This panel and this panel need to fold against each other like this. 
while these two panels fold around the head. So these three panels here are going to be folded around the head and then these two panels are folded flat against each other. If we get the chest section down, we also need to have the ab section and the arm that's on this black screw at about 90 degrees. Tilt the chest down, bring the arms up, and I've got his armpits pointing downwards, and that will hopefully give me enough clearance that kind of works. And now I've got to try and hold this panel in place with my finger on the inside so that I can fold this joint here. See this panel slid tilted forwards. Now I can fold that panel in. Now this panel goes in with plenty of clearance and there's no clearance issue around the head. See that goes through quite well. So on the inside we've got to push all of this head panel assembly through this darker section here. You might have to push the lighter plant panels that way slightly because they don't seem to be quite parallel. And that should go through nice and easily. Extend all of these panels that we've just spent so much time trying to fold up nicely because So I've flattened them all out and now hopefully you can see there's a recess along here that needs to be facing the front of the vehicle mode because that gives us clearance to slide this panel through so it passes through with no issues whatsoever because of that recess Lolly sticks just don't work. This is why I use my Swiss Army knife. Then this panel goes up there. And then we need to fold all of that neck panel assembly back the way it was. So that first joint is folded on itself, remember, like this. And then the other three panels are kind of folded around the head like that. And his chin is up, so like he's looking up. Now we can fold these two pieces on the side of his head. You don't have to, but I think it looks nicer in vehicle mode. And close that panel, something like that. And then I've just finished folding it. Is that focused? By pushing the head in like that. Flip these pieces outwards. Get the backpack out of the way. Open this panel. And then, what's the best view? Let's get that out of the way so you can see. Open up this panel on that hinge there, and then we're going to use this base hinge to bring this panel down until it binds on this part here. And now you just want to give a little twist like you're doing a spinning top type thing. A little twist to get it past there and then close that panel. On the other side, bring this panel up so that these two pieces are straight, close it down until it meets this part here, just use my nose to focus my phone, and then twist into place, close that panel. These two little flaps here can stay closed. Rotate the shoulders so that they are, the armpit is facing that way. 
and then you need to brace because I think that these the shoulder raising joint is actually stronger than this so you want to make sure you're bracing it against make sure you're bracing the pin joint when you're closing the shoulder part down close the shoulder joint as much as you can and there's another joint inside here that straighten straightens the arm if I put the other arm in the same place there you can see that even though I've got the shoulders collapsed as far as possible this arm is not at the same angle because focus I need to bend that so if you find that the elbows don't want to fit when you tuck the arms in there that's your cause and then we simply use the double elbow hinge to tuck those away in there and extend the hinge pull them out to the side I tend to pull the right hand off oh, that's come off easily you don't need to be particularly careful about how you fold the arms in because there's quite a bit of clearance now make sure that this arm with the black screw is parallel with the ab section and get the waist sections open that's parallel and then what we're going to do is assemble the front of the vehicle mode but what will also be helpful is to use the ab crunch joint to give us a bit more clearance around here so we want these two sections in line close that section and then bring bring the front of the car to the middle of the car and squeeze it and you can see that there's two tabs and two holes I had to file those tabs down because there were nowhere they were going in we've got to get this tab into this hole this tab into a hole in there and this tab into a hole there the wheel arches you can see the angle of the wheel arch relative to the top of the out mode is dictated by the angle of this section on the black screw so you need to make sure that things are closed in the right way there and then uh, there push tab into there and it's not focused on the right thing. There. there we go. Squeeze it together. And then there's a tab here and here. They go into there and there respectively. open up the panels on the underside of his body flaps and then spread his legs using the ratcheted pin joint here it goes two clicks now we're going to take care of his right leg point the toes so that we've got plenty of clearance here Try and squeeze here and roll this panel out a little bit like that. And then make sure that the foot is well and truly clear when you open the rear panel of his calves. Make sure this slider is slid all the way this way and rotate the foot around like so. You can push that panel in, bring the toes up bring the heel panel up so that they're pointing like that and then open the open the calf panel 
all the way out like that so we've got room to deal with this section here you've got to push this panel in to release the wheel and pull it out like that fold away this light blue tab here make sure that this panel is tucked in nicely there's a little tiny recess for it to sit in and then there is a slider in there I found that actually the process of putting the thigh inside the lower leg actually takes care of this slider but just to be sure you want to get something in there and push can you even see what I'm talking about maybe slide that along I don't recommend you rely on pushing these pieces here now fold this panel in this is on a slider but it only really slides on one leg it doesn't slide on this one and it doesn't seem to actually be needed so don't bother now we've got to push this panel back into where it was get the wheel through this hole and get the thigh into the calf do not combine a wars the thigh in because you will damage the paint you have to slide so keep the knee close to this section as you slide the wheel in and oh look I told you you've got to make sure that panel is tucked in so now it's actually quite easy that all slides into place and the wheel goes through it push it all the way through now we get to the hard part close the leg we want this panel rotate this panel like so so that it can so that this piece here can fit into there and make sure the foot is well and truly out the way when you do this what we've got to do is put this piece here against this edge not on the inside which is where it's going to go later we've got to get it here so that it can slide in later and then this light piece is going to sit here and slide underneath so we want to use the rotation of this pivoting of this sliding joint inside to put this piece hmm, there and then you aha so by opening the panel a little bit I've enabled this to slide further over and then we've got to stop this from knocking this piece and then I'm gradually I can't really describe this but I'm manipulating the back of the calf section like this and controlling the foot I'm pushing the foot that way and downwards while gradually closing this so you can see that it's going in like that and now at some point I just need to be confident and push inwards that way you can see here can you see there how do I get that close that there is just a tiny bit of clearance there like half a mil and I'm just going to push that in you see this point piece here has rolled around onto the inside this has slid inside and now I can close the leg lock that in place how this got through a design test I do not know now this won't close this piece has got to go underneath the lip of this blue piece here what we have to do is pull this up a little bit and then tuck it in like that then we can fold the, the toe section closed and if it doesn't go flush like this 
then you want to just I'm trying to show you what I'm doing without getting in the way. There we go. I've just pulled the heel section back. Now I can fold the foot flush and then flip up that section. Now for the left leg. Maybe I can show you this section a little bit easier. Push the toes up. Make sure that the foot is well out the way when you open up the, the back of the calf. Otherwise, you might knock this panel off or damage the foot joint on the inside. Try and squeeze this part, even though it's metal, you can, it seems to be able to be you get some flex there and that makes it a little bit easier to open this. But you might even be able to push the panel, help the rotation of this piece from the inside. You need to get this piece out here. Make sure the foot is out of the way, open the panel. And then swivel this panel back into that position so it's ready to go in there. Open this panel out as far as possible. Make sure the slider is fully extended so you've got room to rotate the foot. Push that middle of the toe section in. Push this middle of his shin section in to bring the wheel out. Fold this light blue piece in. Move this slider along. And then remember, don't combine awards the leg in. Slide. The leg in, push the wheel all the way through. Yeah. So this section here has got to go along this edge. This light blue piece has got to go into this gap here and then slide underneath. So we're using the rotation of this slider to push the foot so that we get it over there. Oh, perfect. That's going to go in really easily now. So you can see that this light blue section is already folding in. It's already sliding under that section. And there's also loads of clearance here. Now all we have to do is push the foot in and... Ah, oh, okay, so there's not quite as much clearance as I thought there would be. But what I'm going to do now is push the foot in that way as I close the rear panel. Now you've also got to... This piece here, you need to push it sort of up onto that section, but now that's going to close nice and easily there. And then close this section. Oh, look, it doesn't quite. Yep, 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 that goes in. Okay. So remember that to get this piece here under this lip here. You need to slide the foot up a little bit like that to get that clearance and then you can close the toe. Again the toe is not flush with the heel section so I just need to lift that up. Just rock this back a bit and now the toe section closes nicely and I can pull that up. So Use the articulation joint, focus, use the articulation hip joint. skirts out the way. Bring those in like that. Bring them in as far as they will go, otherwise you won't be able to tap the bed of the truck in. The We need to use the hip, the thigh sliders. They will actually, if you listen carefully, I don't know if this is going to get caught on the camera, if the washing machine in the background will drown it out, but if you push it half the way it will click 
there. That's where we want it. We don't want it all the way out yet. And on the other side. These hip skirts need to be pointing upwards and the side of the waist sections need to be out flat. That's going by putting... Uh, I've just flattened out the ab crunch there. We've got these pieces, side hip skirts, upwards so that there's clearance here. Inside here there is a, um, a tube with a screw in it. The hip skirt is going to bang up against that and you won't be able to finish closing the truck. So now you have to fold these back to there and then now it's starting to look like it's the finished thing. Uh, let's transform the backpack. There are lots of extending panels here. Bring up these light hooks. Swing, disconnect these panels and swing them onto the inside and then you can fold these tiny little light hooks all the way out. Open up this panel that's got this bulge here. It extends on this hinge a little bit, this slides out, rotate it, close it back down. This was quite stiff when I first got it and I found that the best way to put it in was to make sure that this slider was fully extended, that's not coming across on camera, and then pop this section in first and then close this section a bit. Open up the panels on the back of his hip section. These butt flaps are joined to the hips with a double hinge. On one side we want that double hinge to bring the flap all the way up and on the other side we want it low down. This will give us a bit more clearance in this area to get this thing through. So fold it down on this double hinge here and tuck this hinge underneath this part. And then this piece, you can use the hip swivel just to turn the top half of the car a little bit that way and the bottom section that way a little bit. Now you can see that this panel once just slides in nice and easily. And then we've got to push it to get through. We've got to get it under that little tab there as well. There. Now we can turn the ro waist rotation a little bit the other way so that we can get these pieces back through like that magic so don't force it jiggle it make sure that the the front and the back are lined up like this and now we want to finish sliding the thigh sliders out so that we can get this tab into the hole on the side of the thigh on the right leg this worked perfectly but on the left there was no way that the tab was going to fit. Uh, you can see that they aren't they don't really match up. I had to file the tab down. So we're sliding the thigh slider all the way out to the side to connect that hip. There's a little groove here. That's where this dark tab is going to sit. And then the lighter hooks, they need to go under this panel. There is a little hole just here. You're not really going to be able to see what you're doing. I'll tell you what, if we slide, if we flip this panel, and then we can fold it out of the way, then you can maybe see what you're doing. So that 
little hook goes into that hole there. Oops. Hmm. Move those out of the way and that one goes in there. normally have that trouble putting it in it's once it's in it should stay if you're finding that the back doesn't really hold together it's probably because you haven't got the creaky hip joints aligned properly now there is a hole there for that tab and there's a hole there for that tab there close those on both sides And that tab goes into that hole on both sides also. And let's just squeeze everything back together, make sure everything is tight. If you've done it right, then all four wheels should meet the ground nicely. These panels never seem to quite close properly. Oh, and we can close the hip skirts. And we're done. And bonus tip for the people who like it, if you flip up one of the hip skirts, open these panels. I do like being able to store weapons inside, so the muzzle of the gun can go under that hinge there. That thing goes under there you can close those panels close the hip skirt and it doesn't even affect the ground clearance 